больше ничего не знаем о происходящем. Эвакуация района началась. Посторонних людей просят держаться внутри помещений. Положение на границе очень тревожное. Никто не знает, что происходит на самом деле. Welcome to Road to Vostok Public Demo 1. My name is Antti, I'm the developer of Road to Vostok. Road to Vostok is a long-term project, and this demo represents the project's first milestone. The purpose of this demo is to expose me as a developer to your feedback. It's easy to make videos and show off cool features, but actually testing them out in a public is a completely different matter. I believe that the project is ready to move this stage now. Another thing that this demo hopefully represents is commitment and trust. As a developer, I see that this demo serves as an initial measure of how well I can manage development progress, scheduling and commitment to agreed deadlines. In terms of trust, I hope that this demo will increase the credibility of the project and potential in its future development. This demo also taught me a lot of new perspectives about commercial production and ways to even improve production speed in the future. A good side is also that making this demo did not create any so-called production fatigue in myself as a developer. This only increased my motivation and passion towards the next milestone and the actual core content of the game. This demo does not yet represent the vision of the game. This is not an alpha, this is not a beta, this is just small addition to the transparency of the project. Based on these points of view and in relation to the stage of the production, I feel that this demo has been successful for me personally, whatever the feedback on the demo may be. Then to the demo itself and its release. At first, I thought about explaining everything and why some systems are still unfinished or why some bug exists, but I decided that I'm not going to do that. I don't want to start giving excuses for why something doesn't work or if there's missing features, because everything will be fixed and improved in time. So I think if something is broken, it's completely understandable at this point. I'm just going to quickly show where the demo is good to start with and what the main content of the demo is. When you go from the main menu to the demo, you end up in this sandbox map. In this sandbox, everything necessary is shown with the help of these signs. First, there is a small welcome sign and available controls. After this, you will find instructions for testing the container system and placeholder items. Then there are some weapons and brief explanation of how the AI spawner works in this demo. And finally, there's the project roadmap and instructions on how to give feedback regarding the demo. When you feel that the basic movement, controls and demo settings are ok, you can take weapons with you and move to the demo version of the village, which is currently an example map for the visuals of the game. I believe that this is enough as a starting point and there is no need for any separate tutorials or anything like that. The demo will be released after this video, but first I would like to say a couple of things. First of all, I'm currently having a lot of fun and enjoying full-time development, which I've been hoping for since 2012. The next milestone will be public demo 2, 
but I will update this first demo at some point before that and show improved mechanics, new features and production ready village map with all the assets. I think now the game has most of the core mechanics in terms of playability and next I will take the game towards its vision where the progression and survival are the key elements. Production will continue as usual with more YouTube videos and project related news already next month. Finally, I have thought a little about what kind of developer I want to be and what kind of path I want to create for this project. I have decided that this project's path will deviate a little from the normal commercial game production. I'm going to make some decisions which seem a little bit stupid in a commercial sense at this point, but I believe that these decisions will have positive effects in the long run and this is fine for me because I'm not in a hurry and in general I believe that gaming industry needs more of this attitude because not everything can be measured in money. So related to this mindset, one decision that I made is to release most of these demos visual assets for free to everyone. These assets are custom made by me for Road to Vostok, but now they will be licensed under Creative Commons Zero, meaning they are now public domain. So you can use them freely without any restrictions forever. Whether you're a game developer like me, artist, hobbyist or just curious about these assets, they will be available for download on each I.O. at the same time the demo goes public. If you like my approach to game development and want to support me and this project, consider joining Road to Vostok Patreon, you get access to weekly exclusive content, updates and some other files. All the links to the demo, assets and Patreon can be found in the video description. I hope you have a great time testing the demo. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.